I have come to the bedside. I have evaluated the motor score is not following any commands per se. I am once again pressing on the supraorbital notch. Now see what is happening. There is definitely the arm moving across or there is a movement across the shoulder as well. So I would call this abnormal flexion and the score would come down to 3. We shall now be discussing regarding the eye opening component of Glasgow Coma Scale. In the first scene, when I come and near the patient and I touch the patient. Hello, doctor, sir. You can very well notice. Hi, hi, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm perfectly fine. May I go home? Great. So, yes, you can definitely go home. What you saw here was that the patient, just when I approached him, opened his eyes spontaneously and he was talking to me in a very coherent fashion. So, we are going to assign a score of 4 and I'm going to enact the scenario once again. Let's do this again. When I approach the patient at the moment, I am giving a physical touch to the patient. You can notice that at the moment, the patient has not acknowledged my physical presence in spite of me touching him. So, I am going to tap gently and address him by his name, Romit. Open your eyes. So, you can very well see that he has opened his eyes on command. Therefore, this would be a score of 3 that would be given to the patient. So, now let us enact this scenario again. I have come to the bedside of the patient. The patient is not acknowledging me at the moment. I am now physically touching the patient, calling out his name also. But you can see that even on calling out the name, he is not opening his eyes. Romit, aankhe kholo. Romit, aankhe kholo. So, I am going to give a pain stimulus. There are two ways of giving pain stimulus. Either I can be giving a peripheral stimulus or I can be giving a central stimulus. The peripheral stimulus can be that I can be pressing on the nail bed of the patient pretty hard. But you can see that in spite of giving pressure on the nail bed, the patient is not opening his eyes. So, I am going to try a central stimulus next. For central stimulus, there are two methods. One is that I can press on the trapezius muscle, like I am grabbing his trapezius muscle with my hand pretty hard at the moment. And in spite of me pressing it, you can see that the patient is not opening his eyes. So, let me try it once again. But this time, the pain stimulus would be given on the supraorbital margin. And you can see that when I am... You can see that there was a moaning cry coming out from the patient when I gave a central stimulus. So that would be a score of 2. And last but not the least, I'm going to enact this again. I come to the bedside. I physically touch the patient. I'm calling out his name now. Romit, open your eyes. Romit, open your eyes. Romit, open your eyes. You can see I'm now giving central pain stimulus to the patient, pressing hard on the trapezius, pressing hard on the supraorbital margin even at the moment. The pressure is almost there for 10 seconds and still is not opening his eyes. That would mean that the score of the patient is 1. However, if there is a facial trauma, like let me say a guy was driving a bike very fast without a helmet and there is a substantial amount of facial trauma present or there is a lot of periorbital swelling present because of, uh, uh, let me say, angioedema. Like this guy, he uh, in response to drugs developed an angioedema or maybe he was stung by honeybees and there is a lot of swelling on the face of the patient. So, in those circumstances, if eyes of a patient are closed shut, primarily because of swelling around the eyes, then you're going to call it NT. NT basically means non-testable. So these are the parameters that I want you to remember for eye-opening response in Glasgow Coma Scale. We shall now be assessing the verbal response of the patient. I have approached the patient. I'm just physically touching him. Hi, Ramit. How are you? Hello, sir. I'm good. How do you feel today? I'm perfectly fine. Can I go home? Oh, yes. We'll discharge you today. Don't worry. So, you can very well see, guys, here that the score of the patient will be assigned as 5. Since the patient is very cheerful today, he's shown a definitive sign of recovery and I'll be discharging this patient today. So, let's re-enact this scenario once again. I've come close to the patient. You can see he's not acknowledging my presence. I'm physically touching him. I'm saying, Ramit, open your eyes. अभी क्या टाइम हुआ है? रात हो रही है। ओके, ओके। कहाँ पर हो अभी? Ambulance. So you can see that he is not able to register that where the patient is. There is a disorientation in time. There is a disorientation in space as well. अच्छा वो देखो वो कौन खड़ा है? देखो, देखो कौन खड़ा है? She is my wife. Okay, so you can see that he's calling a healthcare worker and a nurse as his wife, so he's a fairly smart guy. But you can see that because there's a disorientation in both time, space, as well as I would say the third component that is person as well. So I would assign a score of 4 to the patient at the moment. Let's reenact the scenario once again. 
I have come to the bedside of the patient. This guy, I am touching him physically. You can see that he is uh, uh, at the moment uh, not being able to make any physical response. <laughs> you can very well see that the patient is using disappropriate or inappropriate words. So that disappropriate or inappropriate words would mean that this is a score of 3. And in fact, how to remember this inappropriate per se? You see, inappropriate may P alphabet comes three times. So you can see that that would imply a score of 3 for the patient. Let's reenact the scenario once again. In the next time when I'm going to approach the patient to check for verbal response, you can see that I'm physically touching the patient. I'm trying to elicit whether he will open his eyes and respond to me. Uh, Ramit, kaha par ho? Uh, uh, uh. So you can see that he's exhibiting a moaning. That will be a score of 2. And on the other hand, if there is no elicitation of such movement, then we will say it is 1. But let us assume if the patient is intubated at the moment and there's an endotracheal tube in situ, then we're going to call it NT. NT basically means non-testable. We shall now be evaluating motor activity of the patient. I will be first instructing the patient to lift his hand. Ramit, apna hand uthao. You can see that he is lifting his hand. Ramit, my hand, thoda grab karne ki koshish karo. Squeeze my hand, squeeze my hand. Good, good. So you can see that at the moment the patient can follow my command. So that would be a score of 6. Now, I will do this activity once again. I have come to the bedside of the patient. I will give instructions. But you will notice that he will not be moving his arms. Ramit, apna hand hilane ki koshish karo. Apni fingers hilane ki koshish karo. Apne pair ke anguthe ko hilane ki koshish karo. You can see that there is no physical movement occurring at the moment. So I will deliver a pain stimulus. That would be a central one. You can see that I'm pressing hard on the supraorbital margin of the patient. And you can see that at the moment, he is able to localize the pain. He has done a purposeful movement and he has been able to localize the pain. So that would be a score of five. Now we do this activity again. And I have already instructed the patient to move his arms. There is no physical movement. I'm giving pain stimulus. Let us see what happens. You can see supraorbital pressure coming up. And this would be a flexion activity that is occurring in the patient. So therefore, the score would go down to 4. Let's do this activity one more time. I have evaluated the motor score is not following any commands per se. I am once again pressing on the supraorbital notch. Now see what is happening. There is definitely the arm moving across or there is a movement across the shoulder as well. So I would call this abnormal flexion and the score would come down to 3. The worst case scenario will be what I am going to elicit next. You can very well notice the movement of the arm of the patient you can notice a very characteristic now this has really a very bad prognostic finding you can notice an abnormal <laughs> extension occurring at the movement on the other hand if i do all these activities and there is no response then it would be a score of one on those circumstances where there's a polytrauma in the patient let me say both the arms are fractured both the legs are fractured uh, in those circumstances i'm definitely going to call it nt that is non-testable